On Veterans Day, we honor all who answer to a service call. Soldiers young and soldiers old fought for freedom brave and bold. Some have lived while others died, and all of them deserve our pride. We're proud of all the soldiers who kept thinking of red, white, and blue. They fought for us and all our whites. They fought through many days and nights. And though we may not know each name, we think all veterans just the same. Hi, my name is Amy Pryor and I have the privilege of teaching music at Green Tree Elementary. Veterans Day has always been and will continue to be a day worthy of our celebration and honor at Green Tree Elementary. Although we love having the building filled with veterans and special guests of honor, we're unable to have an indoor celebration or musical performance this year. And so our staff and students want our community to know how grateful we are for your service and sacrifice veterans. We celebrate our nation today and we hope you enjoy what has been prepared in your honor. Green Tree thanks you. Hi, I'm Angela Zoner, Principal at Green Tree. We feel that it's very important to recognize our veterans and honor them. We um, want to thank them for their service and for protecting our country and for protecting our freedom. We so appreciate you and we want you to know that. I'm uh, Ian Mayer. I've been in the Army for 20 years, um, from 1978 to 98. And to me, it comes down to freedom. Every veteran who served took an oath to preserve and protect the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And the Constitution, especially the Bill of Rights, guarantees our freedoms. Three cheers for My name is Amy Hoffman. I teach third grade here. Um, my dad and my brother were both in the army, actually, and both my grandparents were in the army and my great grandparents. So it's kind of like a family thing. Um, so Veterans Day is like very, very near and dear to my heart. Like growing up in a military family, like you just have such pride in your country and in your soldiers, and. It's just so amazing to be able to celebrate them on Veterans Day and really help, you know, like let them know how much they mean to us and their sacrifice that they've given. My name is Brent Sweeney. I'm a third grade teacher at Green Tree. Um, my connection to Veterans Day is that my dad is a Marine and my sister and her husband are in the Army. 
Um, so I have a close connection in that way. Veterans Day to me means just taking the time to honor the men and women who have served our country and made the sacrifices that they've had to make in order for us to have the freedoms that we have. Um, I'm Stephanie Roldy and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Green Tree. And my grandfather is um, was in World War II and he has been earned several Purple Hearts. And my amazing father-in-law is a Vietnam veteran. And Veterans Day is just a wonderful day where we can celebrate our heroes that have given us this freedom and all these opportunities to be who we want to be, do we, what we want to do, and just really makes our community and our world a better place to be. I am so thankful for our veterans and their sacrifices and their families' sacrifices while they are deployed in a way. Today we honor all of your bravery and confidence. Thank you for serving to protect us. Veterans should be appreciated every day. Thanks. Dear veterans, America gives you thanks for your sacrifice and your courage. You put a lot of thought into your work. I look up to you veterans and always will. You work together and serve our country with pride and care. The United States is our land. It's known as the land of the free. Our veterans have fought wars, not for themselves, but for their country. Many of our veterans have fallen while fighting for our freedom. We thank those very brave veterans for so many things. If it weren't for the veterans, we wouldn't be here today. So for the veterans who served our country, thank you for being our saviors, our heroes, and the reason we are the land of the free.